Hello everyone, No Life here, and today I'll be going over what our next potential victim coming to Texas Chainsaw Massacre can be. So, with there already being leaks on the next fan member being Chop Top, who I did a video on last week by the way, and actually we'll now be going over the next victim from potentially TCM2 that again will be coming to the game. Now, there's only a couple of people I can reasonably think they put into the game. There is potentially three, but I sincerely doubt they do the third character, so I'm not even going to go ahead and mention him. But um, the first up would be Lefty Enright. So Lefty is played by the legendary late great Dennis Hopper, but he also is Sally and Franklin's uncle from the original Texas Chainsaw film. So... For a little backstory on Lefty, for those of you who are ignorant to him, basically he just went on kind of a revenge mission for, uh, or rather against the family, for again killing his nephew and, well, scarring his niece. But um, getting on to what Lefty could do if he was added as a uh, victim, he basically, of course, played a defender role similar to Leland. What his ability could be, well, he did well a chainsaw on the um, movie so I'm guessing if they were to add him his power would be something like him pulling out a chainsaw and then doing like a, a melee attack which would stun any family member who was touched by this now this would feel too similar to a barge so the only thing I could possibly think they could do to make it different from Leland is make it similar to Hans's barge where you have to physically connect with them instead of getting a prompt like Leland to hit them now Personally, I wouldn't want to see Lefty, not only because I didn't care too much for his character, but because he feels more like a Tommy Jarvis type character. Like, if they would do something like that in this game, he'd be perfect for that role, but I couldn't see him being much of a victim, especially seeing as in a film he kind of impaled a leather face with a saw, so... Uh, I don't know. I, I just... My opinion of them adding him to the game is the same opinion I have of them adding characters like Ash Williams and all the Resident Evil characters to... Dead by Daylight, you know, it just really weakens them and it, although it's cool to see, it just doesn't feel right, you know it makes them feel kind of out of character getting killed by all these people that they realistically kill in the um, their perspective seriousness so, um moving on, I'll go over to the next character who I personally would prefer to see over Lefty, and that's going to be Stretch I'm sure I already kind of mentioned Stretch in other videos, shoot, I might have said that, um I wanted to see in the last video. I know I heavily talked to her. But um, what I would like to see for Stretch is, again, her playing a protector type role like Leland. Or at the very least, you know, just her being able to handle herself in many situations. So I guess I'll be going over attributes here first, seeing as the ability and stuff seems like a lot more of an undertaking. And I don't know, I just, I just feel like the ability is usually. The most type thing so um of being around a bush her attributes i'd give her 10 i'm sorry not 10 i'd give her 30 toughness that would be based on the fact that she was really taking a lot of abuse from the family not just you know physically but mentally with all the torture that comes around the notorious dinner scenes they always subject their victims to so next would be 30 in endurance Stretch was going on a marathon sprint away from both Chop Top and Leatherface. And just about the only thing that seemed to have stopped her was the fact that that idiot lefty started breaking their quote-unquote house. And uh, it blocked a path for a stretch. So she kind of had no choice but to confront Leatherface, who then had his family come in. Well, the rest is history. Next, I'd give her 35 into Shrimp. She was really holding her own out against... Chop Top and even Leatherface to a degree, so she's a bit of a fighter and I don't want her to be able to adequately defend herself. Plus, I'm quite frankly sick of them giving all these uh, victims 30... I'm sorry. Why do I keep fudging on what I'm saying? I keep giving... Ugh, they keep giving gun. They keep giving all the victims 15 shrimp. I'm sick of seeing it. They finally gave another victim high shrimp, which is Maria, and it's the bittersweet thing, her having the exact same stats as Ana. And I, quite frankly, I feel like people aren't upset over her stats or something because I haven't seen a single person mention to Gun, hey, Maria has the same stats as Honest. Is that supposed to happen? I, I sincerely feel like that's not something they meant to do. 
It's Marie and Ada feel way too similar of characters, and quite frankly, I feel like Maria's stats really hold her back because they don't do her too many favors, in my opinion. So, going on from that uh, tangent here. Next up, we get to her proficiency, which would be 20. I put that as 20, one, because it's kind of leftover points, and two, Stretch didn't really come across as being very intelligent. I mean, she's very good at articulating herself and all that, unlike me, <laughs> you know, talking herself out of situations and all that, but again, she couldn't get those idiots off of the broadcast, and neither could her assistant, so <laughs> I couldn't justify giving her a higher proficiency than t uh, 20. And uh, lastly, her stuff is going to be 10. Now, I originally planned on her stuff being a little bit higher and her strength being a little lower, but these are the stats I made for months ago when I was first um, dreaming on what she could be and whatnot, so... Honestly, you know what? I think she's good at having 10 stuff, especially as in a movie, she really got caught multiple times trying to be sneaky. <laughs> so, it, it honestly kind of fits her having terrible stuff, besides not like stuff has anything to do with the ability to actually hide. It's just, you know, item gathering. Because it sure ain't crawl spaces or getting off restraints quietly anymore, that's for sure. But I think that about covers all her attributes, so we're not going to her ability. So. With her ability, it could be one of two things. One of them could be her to use a fire extinguisher as a form of a range stun. I wouldn't quite want to do that just because, one, where would she pull the fire extinguisher out? <laughs> and uh, two, it might be a little too strong. You already have Virginia's Boom, which works sort of like that, but it's a blind, not a stun. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, it's just... Personally, I um, I think there's a lot easier things they could do with her ability, which would arguably be a bit more balanced at that. As with us getting both uh, a victim and a fan member, Hans and Maria, last month, or actually this month, it's still June, as me making this video, for them to be able to make a quick turnaround enough to get two characters out, potentially in August, just in time for the game's one year anniversary. I think they'd have to kind of go as simple as possible, so being able to reuse animations and functionality with, again, them only really needing to do animations tops, you know, to really streamline the stuff and get into the game. I think they kind of have to go easy, but still fun and effective, so that's why I think her ability would actually be better off just being something simple like the ability for her to grapple a fan member at will, simply how Link can stun a fan member at will. So. This ability be just as simple as when you have your ability charged, you go up and grapple a fan member. So her level one and two for her abilities would be just simple durations, cooldown recovery, and stunt times of varying degrees. Now, one thing I'd want to mention for her ability is I'd want it to be set at a base 25 strength interval. So basically her grappling a fan member would be the equivalent of you getting a victim to 25 shrimp and grappling them so it's not going to be too effective especially when you're at lower health however when you start to upgrade her ability you'd get the ability to again increase how effective her grapples are so i said level one would be a 30 percent grapple efficiency Level 2 would be a, a 50. Actually, I'm sorry, make that 25 and 50. I'm stupid. I can't math, apparently. So this would work as effectively as Grappler did before they nerfed it, but at the same time, what kind of balances out is the fact that it's being a long, you know, 2-3 minute cooldown. So naturally, for you to have a ability that takes that long to get, you don't want to end up getting killed in a grapple. So, <laughs> you know, it kind of needs to be effective to a degree. Um... I said duration, stun, stun duration, yeah, cooldown, right? Yeah, those would be the other two. So I'm, I'm not going to go into numbers on what the cooldowns would be, but for the stun duration, I, I just make it like two and a half additional seconds and then five seconds. I don't want it to be too crazy. And not to mention by then, I expect them to nerf choose fight down, so it'd be one, two, and three seconds respectively for uh, the levels. Because again, how choose fight manages to stay around as long as beyond me. I Kind of cut them some slack because Chew's fight was bugged for a very long time and it wasn't working on close encounters, so it kind of deserves to 
not be touched for a little bit just so we could kind of make up for lost time, I suppose. But it's still a very unbalanced perk, and it's not fun getting stumped for five seconds as a family member, especially when now people are starting to try to do objectives in front of you during that time. But um, moving on, we're going to get to our level three perks. So these are where, where they're... Abilities get kind of spicy, so going from I guess yeah, I'll say least impactful to the most impactful. Her first one would be a fight back type of effect, which would make it so once you grapple a family member, they cannot regenerate their stamina for a certain amount of time, or they have the stamina pool lowered. I, I forget which one it is. I know fish hooks and fight back they do similar things but differently. So this would again would just be a way of kind of being able to get some proper distance from a fan member after you've grappled them as they won't be able to again keep up quite as well and it's also be great for when they're chasing someone as again they won't be able to catch up to them very good uh next up here we have her being able to heal herself after she grapples so again going on with the two to three minute cooldown thing this could potentially be 50 per uh, I'm sorry, 50 points of health rewarded back to stretch, or it could be just 30, as that'd be a bit more balanced. But the basis of being able to get the older empowered healing effect would be that it's basically a one time use thing, you know, you only be able to do it every two minutes to three minutes, so it kind of has to be powerful. So I think it'd be justified doing so. Now, naturally, if we don't want to go on to the whole healing from grappling thing, we could just simply make it steadima gain back from her. Stunning a uh, fan member in a counter. Leland already does it from barging someone, so again, it wouldn't be broken at all, I think, for them to do that with uh, a stretch as well. So, lastly, her final ability in her tree for level 3 would be the ability to grapple Leatherface. So, <laughs> I know this is crazy. I know a lot of you guys are probably already screaming at me. I ready to type something in the comments, but again, it's a level 3 ability. She can't combo with the other two I just discussed. The most she'd really be able to do is give Leatherface a more lengthier stun time from doing this. But uh, the basis for this would just simply be, uh, one, Stretch is the only person that would be able to do it. I'm not saying we're going to add the ability for Leatherface to be grappled to everybody. That's a whole can of worms we don't need. It's simply going to be Stretch's exclusive ability to do so. Now, how this would look like, basically, Stretch would... Grab Leatherface's chainsaw, pull the ripcord, turn it off, and then she'd kind of fight for control over it. If Stretch wins, she maybe she could turn the saw. Maybe she just simply grab it from him. Either way, she grabbed the saw from him and then you know slice upwards at Leatherface, similar to the uh, final girl in the Netflix chainsaw movie did. And then after she uh, again swipes up at Leatherface, she'd do the chainsaw dance like she did at the end of TCM2. And then throw the saw onto Leatherface's chest. And, you know, that's where she gained the control of her character and run. Leatherface, after again getting owned by his own chainsaw, that would then do a short chainsaw dance. Depending on, again, whether she has the stun time or not. And then he'd resume his day-to-day uh, -day chainsaw behavior. Now, if Leatherface wins the close encounter, which him starting to win the encounter would be marked by him starting to pull his ripcord and attempt to turn on his saw, he would then, you know, fully start the saw, barge stretch to the floor, and then he'd go on to cut uh, stretch in the groin area. So <laughs> it'd be a pretty brutal execution and. It'd also be a nice way of Leatherface finally getting a close encounter animation, which he uh, previously, or rather, he currently does not. So, that's going to be a bit, uh, uh, sheesh. That's going to be about it for Stretch's ability. I couldn't think of any level 3 perks that could reasonably be give her. If they were to, it'd just basically be a bunch of grappling perks that do different effects. Again, if they didn't want to do the um, endurance one, maybe they could make it a unique perk for her, which would be balanced around 10, 20, and 30 points given. But again, I don't think healing from grappling is probably something they want to do anymore. I personally didn't think there was a problem healing from grapples. I just think the values were too high as being able to heal anything above 30 was a little too much. They could add some of the perks from a real you have in a game, like white meat, which you heal yourself from stabbing uh, the chickens maybe they could add a perk where you'd 
be able to heal yourself from cutting down bone scraps. They could do the Grandpa Sonar perk as it didn't feel exclusive to Maria. It's just from him screaming. It's not necessarily about sweet talking. So, again, that's an option. But um, besides that, yeah, I, I don't think there's really anything else to really cover. I can't think of anything I really missed out on too much. Uh, I probably wouldn't want her to have Bomb Squad as a perk. They did a good thing by removing it from Leland's tree. So, again, with me feeling Stretch isn't too proficient and all that, I don't think there's a reason for her to really get it. They could probably give her Saboteur. I think Saboteur would be fine for her, but otherwise, she mostly just has the same perks that you'd see in like Leland and uh, Honest Tree. We could probably give her Bat. I'm sorry, uh, Back for Blood instead of Agitator, because we need a perk to uh, handle Grandpa, in my opinion. Everyone should have a perk like that. Taekwondo is fine for her. You know, just basically all the offensive perks. Fight Back and even um, Fish Hooks would be good on her. Unlike Anna, Overlook would actually fit her as it'd do a great job of kind of allowing you to reenact a scene in a film where Leatherface put on one of his newly crafted masks on her face and attempted to kind of conceal her from the family. So I could uh, justify putting that on her. Slippery, Jump Scare, again, those are all options. Not too sure about, what is it, Twinkle Toes does. Again, she's not very stealthy, but... I mean, they, they have a habit of just throwing a lot of random perks on just about everybody, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that. A lot on your feet. Uh, radar detector, those perks. Just, again, I'm pretty sure literally everyone gets those, whether they fit their character or not. They could give her some of Maria's perks, and whether for Maria and Virginia's, what is it, the first and last out? That could be a good one. As a, it's a pretty... Good final girl character, getting some extra uh, stats, just would be the last person to care. Maybe even give the one that uh, Maria has that uh, increases your stealth proficiency when you're the last person. Uh, again, I don't think it'd be the end of the world if she got that. Stats are already low anyway, so unless you start putting points into those stats, it's, again, I couldn't see any real power creep coming from it and whatnot. No, really just give her some diversity. But uh, again... I don't think uh, there's anything else I really need to cover on this uh, subject here. So naturally, please, you guys, uh, give me some comments here. Please discuss how you feel about what uh, our next potential victim could be, uh, that being Stretch here. I'm going over. And um, geez, again, I don't really know what to say here. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, this has been Known Life here. Even if you haven't already, get a life.